want you to notice this is your angle. So 10 sheens, 45 degrees or even less. I think of 10 sheen as the amount I need to turn not to get hit. If I continue going back, that's fine, but I'm not, I'm not moving that way very much. I'm just letting it brush. So if I start doing the 90 degree turn, like I see a lot of people do, that's not wrong, it's just different. That's a different thing. What I'm relying on is actually moving back. So for the most part, I'd like to just move straight back because you know the problem with that. If they're going too fast, they run you over. So I'm moving back, drawing them forward, but just off the net line enough that if he comes racing through, he misses me. Okay? So try to avoid this, because this is going to change. This is, that's a different thing. It's not a bad thing, it's just a different thing. I'm actually trying to retreat. Just You can think of 45 degrees or maybe even less. Okay? From here, we have the Shionage grip, so Shionage is natural. Change the grip. Sliding forward, kicking the leg around for a mote. Let's just do a mote for a second so we can concentrate on it. So here, you could start with the Shihonagi grip, especially if you felt like you needed the strength. But if you can use extension, you're really doing it. with this, and this one's just ready to add to it, turn it into Kodagai Shomote. Slide over there, Momote, over there. Enough to get him off balance like this. You don't need a lot of power to throw. Anybody who's standing like this is pretty easy to throw. This is pretty hard to throw, so work for this. Okay, so Shobunuchi Kodagaish, this particular beginning, Omote. Because it's very apparent when I can do this without using a lot of strength, it's very apparent from the outside, so when I'm watching you, when people are moving sideways and when they have things in front of their center. So I'm pointing over there with everything, my whole body. It's very easy when you have somebody with a, um, um, more robust, uh, more, more gravity to them. It's very apparent when, uh, my example is BC Sensei in my dojo who's only about this tall and he probably weighs a lot less than I do, but somehow he has this gravitational pull to him. And instead of going in a V so that I turn him, it's very easy to kind of go back into his center and now he's in charge. So I did all that stuff for nothing. So I I have a gravitational pull, so I don't turn toward him. I'm looking at him, and then when I pick my direction, I'm looking over there. No, I'm over here, and now I'm kicking my leg around and turn back to him. So 